All right, out here in my shop at home today, doing a few uh, or some maintenance on the Camaro, uh, trying to get it ready to go test again. We had to redo a flange on one of the exhaust, and uh, so I'm gonna show you that. Uh, I didn't record the actual fitting it and welding, but I'll show you the outcome. And when I get to putting it back on the car, I'll show you why I done it. Uh, we had to stop an exhaust leak. It was it was bad. The V-band just wouldn't pull it over to to make it stop. So As you can see right here where we welded the V-band back on. Um, I had to space it forward, and I'll show you the the inside of it right here um, and that step don't hurt any that's on the outward flow uh, you see right here it's good and clean coming up out of the uh, number two port back into the uh, main collector there um, so what I got to do now is I'm gonna wrap it uh, back. I got to wrap it here and here, and I'm probably gonna bring some of the the purple out over this because it's starting to come loose right here and look bad and ragged. But uh, so let me get started on that, and I'll kind of pick up here in a little bit. All right, here's the manifold with it on. Uh, it's hard to see bolts and all, but. <clears throat> I changed, we're going to try this style clamp. This is actually a uh, high pressure pipe clamp. Or I don't know exactly what it was made for. But like, best I could tell, like uh, gasoline pipes or, or maybe even like in food processing plants, uh, milk pipes or something like that. But anyway, it is a lot beefier than one of these uh, and I've always had trouble with this fitting right here for some reason but uh, I got to let it down in the back uh, I was doing some stuff under there I'm making another brace for the rear end uh, when I get to that I'm gonna try to video that and get that in and uh, <clears throat> see I got uh, I was up under it the other night doing all them bracings and I needed to move around. I didn't want to put a jack stand up under it. So anyway, I'm going to let it down right quick. All right, got her let down. We're going to uh, see if we can get it. The crank is a little cool. Uh, sometimes it's hard to crank, but I'll just see if I can get it all here and we'll see if it leaks or if it don't. Oh, and I'll show you. That. This is the flange that I cut off of it right here. Uh, that was about, I don't know, an eighth inch gap all the way around. And I tried to put, I tried to put gaskets in it and all kind of stuff. It just wouldn't work. So, uh, one more thing I want to show you is I got these. These are the rubber or silicon gaskets that go in between these. So we run four of them and then one three inch here. Uh, I think I got four of the two and a halfs and uh, one or two of the three inch. So we're gonna try those. Those are like 98 cent a piece. If you buy them from anywhere that sells turbos and stuff, uh, you know, they anywhere from 10 to $15 a piece. So, <laughs> I mean, that's simple economics. If those work, they actually feel like a better material than the silicons ones because uh, we've run them for about a year and they, they are falling apart now. If I, you know, if we take these back apart one more time, you know, they, then we'll have to change them. They ain't going to be nothing left. So, uh, I'm going to get the door open. i got to reach down here. and uh, Let me see. I shaved the door handles. Let me see if I can show you our button. Yeah, right. Right there. 
And uh, all right, let me get in the seat. This is uh, it takes a little doing here. All right, so I'm in here. Uh, first thing we got to do: fuel pump, ignition. Uh, that is the uh, onboard air. That one's the trans brake. That one's fuel pump number two. We don't never turn it on unless we're under boost, a lot of boost. This one's the line lock. This one is the cooling fan. A lot of stuff to keep up with. So, let me turn the fan off. Always watch the oil pressure. The eighty five is tough when it's cold. get out of here all right well i'm gonna end this one here try to keep this one really short and uh catch you on the next one we got a lot of stuff coming on the camaro we got a lot of tuning to do still learning everything you know we just we uh mess with this as we can i was wanting to do dig or die i was wanting to do the thaw out uh we didn't make neither one of them but hopefully you know we'll start getting her ironed out i'm learning 
Um, and I about made up my mind if I can't get a handle on this cobbler. I got it close, but it's just, there's a few things I'm chasing. But if I can't figure those out, I'm probably going to send it to Mark Sullins and let him do my carburetor. And because he's a E85 guy. I know there's some other guys out there, but uh, so I don't know. We'll have to see. I'm hoping that what I'm doing is going to work, but uh, you know, who knows? So, all right, it is what it is, and I will catch y'all on the next one.